As we become, as we start working more in depth with fractions, we need to become familiar with the least common multiple. The least common multiple is the, the smallest multiple that's shared between two or more numbers. Um, a quick reminder of what multiples are. Multiples are numbers that come from the factors that you multiply. So like multiples of two, two times one would be two, two times two would be four, two times three would be six, two times four would be eight. Okay, multiples of three would be three times one is three, three times two is six, ten. three times three is nine, three times four is twelve, multiples of five, courses five, ten, fifteen, and twenty. Some examples of how to find the least common multiple. If we work with the numbers two and seven to find the least common multiple, First, we're going to list the multiples. So the multiples of 2 are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Usually, if you list 8 or 9 out, that gives you plenty. And then when you start listing the multiples for 7, look for one that's already in your list of the multiples for 2. So 7 times 1 is 7. Is that a match? No. 7 times 2 is 14. Is that a match? Yes. So our least common multiple is 14. Let's try the numbers 6 and 9. Multiples for 6 are 6, 12, 6 times 3 is 18, 6 times 4 is 24, 6 times 5 is 30, 6 times 6 is 36, 6 times 7 is 42. Okay, let's start working on the multiples of 9. And as we go, we're going to look to see if any of them match the multiples of 6. So 9 times 1 is 9. Is that a match? No, it's not. 9 times 2 is 18. Is that a match? Yes, it is. So our least common multiple of 6 and 9 is 18. I'm going to do one more example for 4 and 20. Multiples of 4. 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 3 is 12. 4 times 4 is 16. 4 times 5 is 20. 4 times 6 is 24, 4 times 7 is 28. Okay, multiples of 20. 20 times 1 is 20. We found our match already.